at the start of a new day, Arathorn was wondering if we could fit the new Tumblestorm AA into the Caterpillar and then fire them off like the broadside cannons of a pirate ship. I have no idea how we even set this up, but what you do is you get the side of the, the Caterpillar lined up with some enemies or something, and then the bays just open up <laughs> and you've got four people with all their missiles. But would they hit your own shield? The only thing I think would be an obstacle is whether it's too wide or not. I was on my way to the spaceport to pull the caterpillar for us to test this idea. We'd later find ourselves engaged in a night of salvaging, scavenging and cooperation between a whole collection of industrial ships. But starting out with a little science was a good warm-up pace. Had the opportunity to put my white paint back on the ship, which is nice. And it seemed fitting to apply the white paint again, just like old times. I was meeting Arathorn at the Riari Deltana Research Outpost on Microtech. Very slowly making my way down towards you, the capital. Yeah, as much as I love it, it is, it is so slow in that way. My prediction is this is going to fit. It seems really short. Which side is it? Do you think that would be bad? The side you're on. Port side, it's quite difficult okay. to load anything. I'm going to open up the one nearest to me. Try to line it up a little bit. It looks like it'll be real close. But it turns out tanks are quite heavy. Okay, ooh, ooh, it's heavy. It's heavy. I'm not even sure I can lift it. I can move it, but... Yeah, that is... No, that'd be so sad if you can't lift it. Feels like I can't lift it. Yeah. Can we use two? Can we use two? Maybe. You got a C1 over there, right? Is that your C1? No, no, no. Sorry, it's an A1, so it doesn't have the... It doesn't oh, have okay, right. Should I get out? That would make a difference. I don't, I don't know if we think... I mean, you could try it. I think you weigh that much. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's another way we can do this. Do it the old-fashioned way. It's awkward, but it does work. See, I have been a Caterpillar pilot for a long time. Back in my day, we didn't even have these fancy tractor beams you kids are all excited about these days. Bring it over and I'll rest on the edge of the pad. By leaving the gear up and resting the side door against the landing pad, you can drive vehicles onto the Caterpillar. The trick is to use the corner where you can get closer to the landing pad at an angle. This looked good, but sadly Arathorn had suffered a crash to desktop and had been sent back to New Babbage. It would be up to me to give this a test. Things look promising at first. But it was quickly clear that the storm is just too wide. It's too wide. It's just a oh, little... no. Not by a lot. I'm going to keep trying to force it in. Definitely too wide. It might fit in the front, but like... It's less useful. Yeah, if you can only put it in one spot, it doesn't really do much. I had to reposition the ship to gain access to the front bay. And as I returned to the storm, Arathorn had arrived. Is that you? Yep. Let's see if the tractor beam works on this. Nope, same issue. Yeah, you can't lift it. You get it. Yeah, I can see it kind of lifting about, I don't know, like a foot off the ground. But that's it, maybe. The tractor beam had failed again, but reversing in from here would be relatively easy. So far, it doesn't seem like a practical use. It 
fit in the bay. I don't know if I'm just close the door or not. I, I need to jump out and take a look. But oh yeah, that worked. It is I mean, in. Still, it is in. But let's take a look. I think if I used to close these doors, this thing would be crushed. It is, it is there, like it is, you know, but yeah. Checking the rear would reveal a surprisingly snug fit. Oh yeah, it is squeezed in. Wow, well actually, funny enough, right, the way the tracks come up further than this missile launcher, is you actually kind of squeeze underneath the walkway, which is kind of cool. But I happen to know that the, you know, this room contracts when you close the doors, so it, it, it almost certainly would uh, end up just getting crushed. So there you have it. No, the storm will not fit in the Caterpillar in any true sense, though it is technically possible to carry one in the front compartment if you keep the doors open. Oh. <laughs> it was not smooth. No, no. With the weather closing in and the sun setting at Rio Deltana, I was boarding back up on the Caterpillar. I'd land for repairs and fuel at the pads. That's what I'm going to do though. In true life aboard fashion, I am going to bedlock on the Caterpillar. For now I had to take my leave, so I'd be parking up here, just outside of Riari Deltana, and bedlogging for the evening. Bedlogging is still limited to only your own ship, but I do hope that someday we have the ability for our crew to log off on our ships as well, just like it was before the introduction of PEZ. When I returned, it was still dark at Riari Deltana. We were arranging another salvage expedition with community members on the channel's new public Discord server. There would be a few regulars coming like Vlaz and Artax, but also a lot of people that we were meeting for the first time. And the meeting point was Port Trasto over Microtech, where I was returning right now. On entering the station and setting regen, we'd immediately begin getting organised. If anyone is a trustler, I've got a caterpillar in Hangar 11. going to take the vulture. We didn't have a specific plan per se, but one would form quickly once we were in motion. I, I get, I get on that one. Now I'd heard that illegal salvage missions could be completed using the SRV towing ship by simply towing the ship away, then freely salvaged once the mission was complete. But we would need an SRV. Does anyone have an SRV? Anyone can just rent one. Is anyone willing to rent one? I will. We could salvage it once it's been towed. Yep, and you get crown start doing it. The first time only level two. Okay, you can pay it off, I guess. Yes, yeah, yeah, you can. Do you want me to park the vulture and go rent one? Yeah, it'd be amazing, yeah. Okay, I'll that. take the mission. I'll share it. I'll find out where we're going. We have an hour oh. to go tow it. Yeah, it's Crusade away. Yeah. So in the rings of Viela, there lies an abandoned criminal hammerhead. The authorities are on their way to investigate it for evidence, and we've been tasked with scraping it clean. However, simply towing it away from the area will also prevent the authorities from getting it. And once it's been towed, we can salvage at a more relaxed pace. I was heading in early to scout. There are a bunch of ships here. Scanning for cargo was also a good idea. Scan the ship. But it looks good. I still had questions about how the towing actually worked. Do you know how far you've got to tow it? I can't imagine it'd be too far, right? Like 2k. Wow. Yeah, it's like probably less than two minutes and the mission is done. Nice. Yeah, it is. 
I made I made five million in uh, probably a couple of hours. Whoa! So, yeah, you ba you basically do a couple of missions, go pay your fine, do a couple of missions. The scan had come of empty, but I wanted to go check on board anyway, as it's been known to not always work correctly. The Hammerhead is one of the best interior layouts as well, in my opinion. So boarding one is always a treat. And obviously, somebody you know made sure to the falls or whatever. <laughs> and running through the ship, I had an idea. You know, like you got the boarding action machine, you've got the black kite. The layout of the hammerhead internally is, would be so good for a, a mission like that. Something like this, maybe, but where there are actually people on board as well. Yeah. The cargo bay was indeed empty, but at least I knew for sure now. And during the time I'd been on board, our first vulture had arrived. We would be joined by three of them in total, along with a handful of box movers and the SRV. And I'll move to position near... Is that you, Vlad, who just arrived? It's uh, Zeus. Oh, Zeus. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll position to come give you a hand. See where you are. Our first session using the tractor beam recently had given me a better insight into how to position the ship. Okay. My ship just put me up. But, uh... Perfect. Zeus was getting started on stripping the hull. There really was no reason we couldn't begin the hull stripping before the ship was towed and then complete it afterwards. And it didn't take long at all before boxes of RMC were being produced. Ejecting. Nice. Okay, why? I see it. It was surprisingly calm and peaceful for a day around Yala, and I suspect the reason was that Jump Town was running over near Microtech on this day. When I got to the event. As more people joined our voice channel, more offers to help were coming in. What should I bring? Should I bring a big ship or a vulture? Uh, that's up to you. The plan is to, is to when um, Rachel gets here, she's gonna tow it away. And then that will complete the mission, which means, you know, we get an immediate bonus payout and then we strip the rest of it. And with, with a bunch of us, with a bunch of vultures, we, you know, strip it a lot faster, obviously. When it came to repositioning, we'd already pulled a couple of boxes of salvage. And I get an invite. But the fact this was an illegal contract was about to deliver an unexpected change in circumstance. Tom? Wait, what? Okay. Oh! I'm being scanned. What's he talking about me? I'm literally being scanned right now. The ship was stationary, so I didn't think much of it as I sent out another party invite to someone just joining us. Okay, I'll bring some firepower, and then I can just jump out and move boxes if we need it. Excellent, yeah. Ooh. Oh no! I think I just got arrested. Oh wow. Wait, because <laughs> we are trespassing. Yep, I, I, I got arrested. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in prison. Uh, <laughs> what you were just talking about? I'd immediately go and check my sentence, and it was a very odd one today. Now we're going to attack these guys and destroy them. Oh my god. I'm running away. I'm running away. But do you guys want to know what my sentence is right now? What? It is 37 seconds. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so after a grueling 60 second prison sentence and fresh from the joint, I decided it was time to hydrate. I'll do it. I'm boarding my ship again now. And I'm also perfectly hydrated as well this time. Yay. <laughs> Commenters <laughs> in the videos will love to hear. <laughs> that, that's why they arrested you. <laughs> As I set out back to Crusader, I was informed that the cargo we'd already gathered was probably gone. This was something I wanted to go check on. Uh -oh. We'll check the cargo bay real quick. See if the um, boxes that we moved were actually there. Yeah, that's a good they question. Were. Yeah! 
They stole our like three SCU of salvage. But apparently my caterpillar was still back at the hammerhead. So your caterpillar is still here, so wait what? I'm being scanned. <laughs> I'm being scanned again. Oh my god. Yeah, your caterpillar is still here. Let's see if... Uh, I don't even know if your stuff is in there. I mean, you can get the cargo. Yeah, the, the guns and the uh, three SUs of uh, salvage. Sweet. So the cargo was still there on the original Caterpillar and what's more by the time I was returning Rachel was just about arriving in the SRV to tow the hammerhead out and away from the ring. I mean we've got a I guess we've got a I guess we've got a Caterpillar we can salvage as well now. <laughs> the orange hull of the SRV was visible from quite a distance away. That looks so cool seeing the SRV out there. How can you be tell if you're giving to tell the beeps? I know, right? Beep, beep. There's no beeps in space. That's <laughs> true. It's still marked as mine, so... Oh, okay. But I'll just pull it over, yeah. Impact warning. Easy enough to do. Buy upgrades. This is nobody does it because... I'd quickly pull over the cargo we had before turning my attention back to the SRV and the towing of the hammerhead. <laughs> He's trying to keep up with it, He's trying to salvage as, it, as oh. it's being towed, that's hilarious. I'm trying not to lose it, otherwise it's going to fly off. We were looking for two different signs. The first would be the mission completing, and the second would be no longer trespassing. The exploit stuff on the mission, you don't need to quantum drive it. We, we've covered like, you know, five kilometers-ish, maybe a little bit more. So, you know, progress has been made. Yeah, I'm doing it slowly so I don't lose it. Okay. Soon after, the mission did complete. That's there, we go. Oh, there we go. Yay. Yay. Yeah, I'm going to the trespass in this space. They'll never find it here. Yeah, it's yoinking me around all over the place. <laughs> TBI is everywhere. <laughs> trespass is gone for me. Yeah. He's gone for me as go. well. Yep. Now we just right, need I'm to slow this way. down. I'm going to slow yeah. it down slowly, otherwise I'll just. Good now Rachel carefully slowed the hammerhead into an actual stop. And now our vultures could begin their work again, safe from the risk of security interference or being arrested. Jeff, gaming Jeff, if you jump on the, the purple vulture and like pull boxes and then when it fills up we'll transfer them. I think if you just activate, uh, it should slowly You're busy align over there. behind you. <laughs> yep. It's good, it's, it's good stuff. Did you already check the cargo bay on this thing? Yes, it's empty, sadly. Questions about stripping weapons came up as well. When this was first new, uh, it was it was really worth it to grab guns, but yeah. I think by, I think by lower too much. It should be at least uh, 40%. Yes. I'd soon get an offer to help from Sharpest Katana. Okay, do you want me to try to put them in? That'd be amazing, yeah. That would be really helpful. I'll check it by there. That, that means I can reposition the ship a bit more as well then. But as I prepared to move the ship, we'd encounter a new bug, I think, as the box that I'd been moving now seemed to be immovable to Katana. Oh, this box is being weird. Are you having trouble grabbing it? I, I was having this issue the other day. I, it says I'm supporting, so my best guess is that it somehow thinks you're still driving the box. Yeah, I just found left it hanging. I was able to move the box and over the course of this session we were deduced that it seems to be a problem when a second person tries to grab a box that is already being moved by another tractor beam. All three vultures were now on site. And I still can't grab it. Oh, uh. who's, who's in EVA there? Who is that? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realise you were um, floating around over there. I'm leaving the pilot seat now, so we are stationary. Jumping over to beam again. Initially, I'd been very busy with boxes building up in the back of the vultures. The pilots were very motivated today. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm creating boxes so quickly. This is amazing. I'm feeling it. Yeah, you, 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 you're great, man. You're doing great. Yeah, this has been the one for many months. Yeah, this doesn't get a whole different ship. ship. Seems to be working. Yeah, because I need to go to Green Max and store the ship quickly. I was gonna steal one of the boxes. Trying to grab the box that Jeff was already moving, put it into the strange bugged state. I'll, I'll drop out. This one I can't move at all. Uh. Oh, it moves after I let go of it. What? That's so weird. Oh, that's what was happening with the other box. I can still get it on board. I can still get it in. Technically. But as more helpers arrived to move boxes, we were able to manage each vulture better. God, this is so we much more efficient with a bunch of extra. You get a bunch of extra people on board. It makes a huge difference. A bit expensive, but it's cool. Move, uh, moving small objects, and then yeah, I'll, I'll stick with my little... Katana, are you securely on board? I'm on board. Just gonna move us over a little. My idea was to have the box movers service the vultures that I couldn't reach with the tractor beam. That way nobody got blocked up and we could unload in batches. And to that end, I was lining up behind Vlaz to move his boxes. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not worth it. I mean, it, it'll we'll yeah. get him in there eventually. <laughs> with our box movers out there, things ran very smoothly. That would be nice. Some of the plan was lost in translation though, and really the box movers just moved between the vultures as needed. This worked out fine as well. Is he watching me? <laughs> we also had a pretty amazing view of Yela's rings from this position. After a few instances of the weird box bug, we started to figure out the cause and solution. It says I'm supporting now. Okay, yeah. I think I know what's happening with these boxes. To fix the problem, the person who first moved it needs to grab it again and then release it. When you let go of it, then I got it. Okay. Gaming, try and grab hold of that box. Um, do you see it there? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you've got it. Okay, good. Can you move it or is it still? Okay, good. I can move it, yeah. So what you gotta do is out there to you and then drop it and then that's when you all have to grab it. Right, okay, yeah. That's interesting. It's good that we can document these things. Figuring out problems like this is an interesting process to me, but there was still a lot we did not understand about this bug, for sure. Yeah, On my end, I got the bug box into the caterpillar, so I don't know what to do with it. It's in the ship, right? It's... it's... It's not in the cargo grid. It's not in the okay. cargo grid, that's why. I mean, as long as it's in, as long as it's in, right? I'm going to jump over to Artax real quick. Um, the onboard tractor beams were not really needed right now, so I was going to help Artax stay free of blockages. This is very small. You know what? That might be the difference between um, what is claimed as your personal stuff and what is claimed as Because it's still in supporting mode. I just checked another one over. Um, it's in the doorway of the second compartment. Anywhere? Or just in certain areas? You may have. Let's see if I can figure out where you're pointing. The vultures were getting away from the caterpillar again, so it was time to reposition once more. The lower cargo grid, too. And lined up again, I could jump back on the track to beam station. The vultures were making fast progress towards clearing the whole hammerhead. Doesn't the, doesn't the rings of Yale look crazy, crazy good from this angle? Oh, it looks so good. As the hammerhead was getting closer to being completed, the idea of taking on some ELT bounties for both cargo and whole salvage came up. I just thought of something. Um, if we do an ERT, couldn't we scrap the ships from that and get huge um, cargo? You, you can get millions of cargo. Yeah, um, so... If you've got ELTs in the lock, I am 100% on board. 
I need some gunners. I will need some gunners over the car pillar, but definitely, definitely up for it. I'm not doing an ERT in a vulture though. Just bring that out there. Fair. Many of the players were with us for the first time, but they were doing an outstanding job. Do you like seeing the caterpillar filling up? Been doing a great job with that, that compartment, um, Katana. Before heading off to fight an ERT, I would tidy up the cargo on board. More fun then. That's right, yeah, we need gunners on the Connie as well, yeah. Are we done? I think we're done with this thing, aren't we? I think so. I mean, it'd be more fun to move on to the um, ERTs anyway, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, I see you. I'm, I'm on the, I'm on the elevator. Okay. So we were busting up and preparing to head off to face some ERT bounties. The value in cargo alone you can recover from those missions is just enormous. And they also make very attractive salvage targets as well. Things would not go entirely smoothly, especially for us on board the Caterpillar, but we get to take part in some very interesting adventuring and logistical puzzle solving, and what followed was most definitely a lot of fun. How will we fare and what problems will we encounter? Join us next time to find out. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching, and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. These very generous people keep this channel going with their support, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Havak37 who recently became a backer. Thank you very much Havak37 for the support, that is greatly appreciated, thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.